Hey everyone, it's Luke here today, and uh, today I'm going to be bringing you a tutorial on how to add a now playing um, song changer on XSplit using iTunes. Um, so first of all, we want to create um, two different f uh, folders. One is going to be called um, AMIP, uh, and another is going to be called um, Actually no, the other is going to be a text file, I'm just going to call it song at the moment. Okay, so all you want to do is you want to go on Google, um, I've already got it opened here, but I'll, I'll do it again. You want to look for AMIP, just Google AMIP, and it's the first tool that comes up, uh, what is AMIP, I'll put the link in the description, but um, you click on that and you get to this page on the left hand side you, uh, you want to click download under a mip project so click download and scroll down and you see different file types um, today I'm going to be making one on iTunes so I want to select the iTunes file um, yeah so just click that that's going to download you want to open that up and <coughs> the program I use to open it is WinRAR because they download it in a in a raw file and a zip folder, um, but you want to extract, you want to select them all and extract it to a location. And when it when wants to work, I just made the file on my desktop called AMIP, so I'm going to put it in there. Let's do that quickly. Okay, awesome. I can close that now. I can now close Google Chrome completely. So in AMIP, there's now my AMIP installer. Um, so I'm going to run AMIP quickly. Uh, I accept the terms and conditions, scroll through them, read them quickly. It's contact details of the person who made it. Um, okay, I'm just going to ignore that. I'm going to ignore that. Hopefully, when you do it, you won't come out of. Can't, won't, that won't happen to you because I've already installed it like three times now, and it's, I think that's just telling me that I can't reinstall it. But I can reinstall it as I've just done. But ignore them are two messages that popped up. Um, I know when I first installed it, it didn't happen, so just ignore them at the moment. You want to click finish, and iTunes should run. So, for this um, bit of the tutorial, um, you now want to. So, you've got, got the AMIP, it's installed. You want to press Control, Alt, Shift, Z O, and you should get into this plugin here. Uh, this is the AMIP plugin, the advanced. MIRC integration plugin. Um, what this allows is it allows programs to go into a file that we've created dot song um, song dot text txt and take the information out of that and relay it onto whatever it needs to, if that makes sense. So um, from here, what we want to do is we want to just make sure we have AMIP available to be enabled hotkey. You don't really need it. I don't. I I just have it on because it's default. But if you don't need hotkeys, you don't need it. Um, I don't use it for any IRC chats or anything. So I just left this the spot blank. Um, we're going to be focusing completely on the right hand side. So you want to see where it says file. You want to write the song into a file. Uh, and what you want to do now is from you've just clicked it, that and you want to go back onto the, your desktop where it's, you have the dot song file the song dot txt file and you want to go to properties okay this should open another another uh, window you now want to you want to see the location of it and you just click your copy and paste the location on the general settings and you want to go into the file and copy and paste that see you can't just leave it as that, you also need to add on the end a backward slash, uh, which is on the left hand side of your keyboard, uh, and then you want to write song.txt. The reason you do that is because this is only the location of the file, it's not the location and it's not the location and the file name of the file. So um, so yeah, now we have the, the song being written into this file, which is on my desktop, so I can close that now, which is this one here. Um, and okay, um, what's a little bit different from here actually is mine says percentage name. Uh, yours may say um, like play or something like that. Just delete all. You can delete all the rest of it, and so you can just have just percentage name left. Um, and I'll explain to you why I have this in a minute. Because if I have like now playing, okay, hold on, I'll leave it like that. Um, 
and you want to delete all the exit and you want to make sure there's no delete file on exit um, you want to take out all the exit stuff because that's just useless and you just want to hit a clay for that okay so now uh, now we have AM, AMIP installed and relaying information from iTunes into the song name I now want to take the information from that song name and apply it to my exploit so um, I did have a pre-made example but I took it off I'll do it really really quickly and it doesn't matter I'll just redo it so what you want to do is you want to go to add and you want to go to title um, and the ads in the top bottom left and the title is just in the menu so uh, you know you can leave this however you want you can choose the text you want so let's say I want to have Jill Sands MT um, or and I think let's say if I want to use one of my own fonts so you have to click on use embedded fonts and I really like the font uh, oh wait hold up um, Oh wait, I've forgotten how to make it so you... Oh, there you go. You have to unclick it. My bad, sorry. Um, there you go. That's Elephant. Or So this now gives me access. If I unclick Show Embedded Fonts Only, it will give me access to all of the fonts I have on my computer, rather than just the ones that um, uh, come free with XSplit. So I'm going to use Franchise, because this is my favourite text. Um, uh, <coughs> so... Now to add the song name, you want to um, go on to remote text update, set the interval to however long you want it, so the interval is like every, at the moment because I have it one second, every one second it will search the file that I give it to see if there's any changes, so I normally have it on five, I don't know why, I, can, I think if it just does it every second it might cause some like lag or something, if your computer can't run a lot of programs at once it, it may like just cause less stress on your computer. So normally, just I you can put it on one if you want. Like I put it on one, but five is is fine. It's just five seconds for it to refresh the song. But anyway, you want to go onto your remote, your remote URL, and <clears throat> what we did earlier is we um, copied and pasted from you know on the the song .txt. We we copied and pasted the location. We want to do that again, and we're going to copy and paste that into there and we're going to do the same thing add the back the backslash with the song dot txt because that is um what inf that's the the file we're going to be taking the information out of um and i'm going to put it on scrolling because i like a bit of scrolling text it makes it look nicer make it more dynamic uh you can change anything else you want here but i'm just leaving it as that so my title is now that i'm just going to play this song um and see, straight away, it now comes up. You now can resize this in any way you want. But yeah, okay. So you now can see, like, um, it straight away recognized that it was playing the song. Um, and yeah, so that's that. Um, the reason I can remember me saying about the now playing, well, right now, if I open this back up, um, now it's stopped like um I can make it say it's saying not playing or uh yeah not playing and then hit play and that was saying now playing and that just says not playing so that's that's different ways how you can use this plugin um but normally what I do is I just have it so it's just percentage name um and you could just have music off. I've never actually done that before. I just thought I could do it just now just to show you. Um, but yeah, so this, I'll just show you again. So it's now playing. I'm going to switch the song to a random song. Let it go through. And let give life back to music. Give life back to music. So um, that's how you do that. Um, oh yeah, now because I closed iTunes, it will obviously disappear. Um, if anyone has any questions or need any kind of like help with anything, then feel free to ask. I, I can show you an example of how I use it. See in the in the this corner here, um, on my right hand side corner, this is my song box. This is my overlay for my stream when I play long. Uh, and this is my song box. So uh, currently it's saying that I'm playing 
the song which I'm not but that, that's because I have it in a different folder which is this is why you don't have to use it on your desktop mine's in my YouTube folder which is in my streaming folder which here's my song DXT all you have to do is just remember to go on that properties copy the whole location and then just band a backslash song the dot txt and you can do it from anywhere on your computer so yeah guys thanks for watching um this has been my tutorial on how to have the now playing uh, song changer on xplit using itunes um if you liked it yeah, feel free to like uh, and let me know what you think think if i can help you any other way then please comment and let me know and yeah thanks for watching guys i'll see you later